is Game On on BBC Wiltshire. I'm Marie Lennon and I'm here until two today. The programme, if you've not heard it, is all about celebrating community sports and local sports all across the county and the people that make them happen. And now, it's time for Courting Success, where we'll meet a Wiltshire team, club or individual who are turning heads with their sporting achievements. And this week, it's Botcher and a group of students from John Bentley School in Cannes. Here's the roll call of honour for you. You ready for this? Lovely Primal, Megan Hughes, Levi Jenks, Chelsea Jenks and Leanne Stevens and their PE teacher, Sam Shuka. Now, as a result of the London 2012 Games, they learnt how to play the Paralympic sport, Botcher. And turns out, not only did they learn it, but they're very good at it too. So I went to meet them to find out a bit more about why they like the sport and you know what success they found so far. But first of all, Sam Shuka, the PE teacher, explains the school's relationship with this sport of boccia. Well, obviously we did lots of work based around the Olympics and Paralympics last year. And from that, it's been a part of our legacy here at the John Bentley School. Um, and we've made a focus on some of the Paralympic activities for some of our less able and disabled students. The first of those was boccia. Um, we were given the opportunity through our school games yeah. organiser, Vicky yeah. Richardson, and she helped us attend the county competition in Swindon, where they did so well uh, that we were then asked to go on to the South West Regional Finals. So something which you started just to get involved with the Paralympic Games um, and just learn a bit more about, turns out you're actually quite good at, which must have been brilliant. Who wants to tell me about the rules of the sport? Because I'm coming to this completely new. Um, first, you get... Six balls of blue, six balls of red, and one white ball. Um, one of the team players in the team has to throw the white ball, which is jack ball, onto the court. And then the rest of the team has to try and get the closest ball to the white ball. What is it about the sport that you thought, oh, look, this is, this is a good sport to take part in? Like, botcher is bowls, basically. Mm. And uh, for me, it was like, you know, they might have a disability... But it doesn't stop them from, you know, doing something they really enjoy and being involved in sport. Tell me what it was like to be at the South West Regional Finals. That was that was good because before um, we went, we've only actually played Botcher about three times. Yeah, it was good to get into it and meet everybody. Well, people think that it's easy to do, but it takes, you know, hand-eye coordination. It's just really good because everybody was praising everybody for their work. And what's it like to be part of a team and playing the sport and, and getting that recognition? It was really nice, but it was also kind of scary. But it was nice to prove to, like, able bodies that people in wheelchairs can do sports just in a different way. Mm. So that was quite nice, too. You get to meet new people, and, like, they're all in the same... They're all in the same, like, category as you. Like, they've all got their problems so that you feel... Like, nothing's wrong with you. It's just normal to be the way you are. Yeah. And, and as we were hearing, it's a sport which you can all take part in together, so people who are in wheelchairs, but also people that aren't. How, how nice is that to be able to play sport with some of your other school friends? That was quite good, too, because obviously they could see that it's easy for us to take part as long as they give it, us a chance to prove to them that we can do it. And tell me what going to the regional finals, the South West regional finals, was like. Oh, it was amazing. Really hard, because <laughs> the other teams won't give up. Really? We had to keep fighting and fighting. <laughs> but obviously you did really well. Yeah. Do, you, do you want to keep playing Boccia? Yeah. yeah, I won't mind it. Yeah. Tell me what these two students are going to be doing. Um, Megan and Lovely were selected from um, their performance as officials, um, and they've been asked to attend the national finals in Sheffield on the 21st of March to go up and officiate um, the competition. Um, and from that, they'll be mentored by Paralympic officials, and there's the opportunity that they can enter the Paralympic pathway as officials for the future. Well, that's pretty impressive. How are you feeling about going up to Sheffield and representing John Bentley School? I'm feeling a little nervous, but also excited as well, because, like... I like meeting new people and how they could lead me into my future, my pathway, so it's a good experience. Yeah. There are no barriers now. Um, everybody takes part. We've now, or we're about to um, mark out our own botcher court in the gym. 
so that it's accessible to everybody. And it's really nice when people appreciate that it's not easy. They're sat, sat down in a chair. These guys are much better than me. I lose every time. And I came here having absolutely no idea what botcha was. And in fact, I was a bit worried that I was pronouncing it wrong. What do your friends think about the sport? Did they know about it before you started taking part? Um, well, they're really pleased because, like Levi, I didn't really mention it very much. And then we were in the Gazette and they saw it in there and I, they were just praising me and I was pleased because now they know that there's a sport that I like and that I enjoy. When my friends found out, it was quite nice because they were boosting up my confidence and we could actually prove to them that we're just not people in wheelchairs and we can't do anything. We can actually do quite a lot just in a different way. Did you feel a bit like people were looking at you and thinking, you can't take part in sport? Yeah, I was because, obviously, they just saw the wheelchair. They didn't actually see the person inside of it.